When we consider the first four trumpets and look towards the fulfillment of seal number four, it becomes very apparent that these trumpets will help contribute towards the fulfillment of seal number four, where death and Hades were given authority to kill a fourth of the earth by means of the sword, famine, disease, and by the beasts of the earth. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that if a third of the earth is getting burned up, a third of the trees, all the green grass, a third of the seas turning to blood, a third of the sea creatures are dying, a third of the boats are wrecked, a third of the springs, a third of the rivers are turning to wormwood, and a third of the sun, a third of the moon, and a third of the stars are darkened, it's so obvious that these things are going to contribute to what? To famine. And when people are hungry, what happens? They get, they get diseases. And when people don't have a lot to eat uh, and they're having diseases, what do they do? They fight. And so as Christians, we really want to start considering the first four trumpets as part of the beginning of birth pangs or the beginning of sorrow. John says he heard an eagle crying with a loud voice as it flew directly overhead. Woe, woe, woe to those who dwell on the earth at the blast of the other trumpets that the three angels are about to blow. What a statement this is, as if trumpet number one, two, three, and four weren't destructive and devastating enough. Here the eagle is singling out trumpet five, six, and seven as the whoa, 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 or as other translations put it, terrible judgment, terrible judgment, terrible judgment.